Hi, my name is Amy Knack. I'm a printmaker and I'm founder of Wingtip Press, a community printmaking studio in Boise, Idaho. And I'm here today to talk with you about the gel printing plate by Speedball and their fabric inks. So we'll be printing on some fabric. When you open your Speedball gel plate, you're going to find that it's in this clamshell with instructions and it's covered front and back with a sheet of mylar. And I like to put that right with the plate with the packaging when I'm done so that I have everything together because it's important that you put those pieces of mylar on your plate when you're done working. So let's get started. I've got the Speedball process colors and these are screen printing inks in the magenta, the blue, and the yellow. And then I also have two of the opaque inks and these this is sherbet and raspberry and they have a little metallic um, look to them and they're just beautiful blended with the with the um, process colors. So I'm going to put several colors down here and the process is going to blend beautifully with these opaque colors. I'm working on Egyptian cotton. I've tried working on muslin and pima cotton and they all work well, but I just love the Egyptian cotton because it's so smooth and it picks up the fabric so beautifully. So let's roll the inks out. And I'm just rolling and lifting, rolling and lifting, and I can tell I have a little too much ink right here of the sherbet color, and I'm just going to discharge some of that onto a piece of paper towel. So I'm blending the colors with the brayer, and I have found that with the fabric, the screen printing fabric inks, that you want to be a bit more generous with the ink than you would if you were printing on paper because the fabric really requires more ink to get nice coverage. So I've got a beautiful blend of the magenta, the raspberry, and the sherbet there. And I've got some maple leaves here. We're just going to start with some maple leaves, but I'll show you some other techniques later. Let's put five on there. And now my piece of cotton, and I've cut the cotton a little larger than my plate, just so that I can have a clean border. And now I'm going to set this down, and there's a little thread of on here. I'm going to set this down right on top of the plate, and using my hand, I'm going to smooth out the fabric so no wrinkles um, disturb the image. So I've got it all smoothed out. And then what I like to do is use a brayer to transfer the ink. And this is just a slow and easy process of rolling the brayer over the inked plate with the different artifacts on there. And in this case, it's the maple leaves. And I want to make sure that I'm getting good coverage. And I can see some of that coverage coming through on the back of the fabric. This is just an amazing process to be able to print on fabric with these screen printing inks and get the quality of printing that you'll see. So my first print that I'm going to pull here will be a negative positive because we just have the negative part of the leaves. And look at that beautiful, look at this Egyptian cotton, the hand on this fabric is beautiful, and the screen printing inks keep this lovely hand on here so it doesn't end up being too thick or cakey on there. And once this is heat set, um, it'll be just beautiful, ready to use. So we're going to put that aside. Now I'm going to pull up my leaves, and we're going to get, oh my gosh, you, I wish you could see the um, shine from the metallic that's in the raspberry and the sherbet ink here. Same thing, I'm just going to put this down. Make sure that you don't have a loose thread because that will print. Using my hand, I'm just smoothing it all out so I don't run into any wrinkles once I'm printing. And then the clean brayer. Get to the corners easy to forget the corners and focus on the center. So the process colors have a translucency to them to allow them to mix really well. So adding them to the opaque colors has really given 
the ink's richness. And now look at that beautiful impression from the leaves, every single detail. That's the beauty of this gel plate. The fidelity to the details that you get is incredible. <clears throat> so we have this, and look at, wouldn't these be beautiful combined together with a negative positive print and then the detail impression print? Really lovely. I'll be back in a minute to show you some other techniques I've discovered. Okay, I'm back to show you how we're going to use the fabric inks on fabric with actually printing from the back of the fabric rather than directly on the plate. And I'll show you what I mean in just a minute. So the first thing I'm going to do is put some color out and we'll start with this process blue. And the yellow. Primary colors are wonderful for mixing just about every color you can imagine. And these speedball process screen printing inks that are working on a gel plate just do an incredible job on top of the of the fabric. Now I've got a little more ink than I should have so I'm going to discharge that because we're going to be printing from a different position this time. And I think what I'm going to do, I have a lot more ink, so I'm going to just discharge this on a piece of paper quickly. I'm just going to remove that excess ink so that I can work a little more, a little lighter. So I'll just set that aside and we'll blend these in here. Okay, I'm back and I've rolled out a little bit of the process colors in blue and yellow of the uh, screen printing inks. And what I'm going to do is take my piece of fabric and instead of making marks directly on the plate, I'm going to make them from the back of the fabric. So I'm just setting my fabric down, removing this little, and I don't really want to flatten that fabric down. What I'm doing is I'm just doing this like a trace monoprint for those of you out there who are printmakers. So we're going to just be putting the artifacts on the back of the fabric, pushing through, and that's going to be lifting the ink up. Let's add a scallop shell here, and here's a little cross section of a, another seashell. The beauty of this gel plate is that you're able to get impressions from three-dimensional objects. So there's my print of all the different things in the sea. We're not done. Let's take this piece of fabric, put it over, and now we're going to do it the way that we did earlier, where I'm actually making contact with the fabric. I can use the brayer or the Baron to pick up, or I can use the brayer to transfer, and we'll have the opposite because that's negative positive, this will be positive negative. So we have that with this, the two together, opposites of each other and on the Pima cotton, or the Egyptian cotton, and the inks will stay soft on that fabric and make something really beautiful. Well, we've done a number of different techniques on the, on the fabric using the speedball screen printing inks in process colors and opaque, the gel plate, a number of tools, rotary tools, leaves from nature, seashells to come up with a variety of different marks. Mark making is what we're all about. And now it's time for some cleanup. So I prefer, oh, and the one thing, the best thing about printing from behind like that is you don't have to clean up the, any of those mark making tools. So, but we do need to clean up our plate and I'm just using a baby wipe and making sure I go around and get all the edges clean. And a little bit on the table there. <clears throat> 